Automation like the VA is using for cloud cybersecurity gets a huge backup now from artificial intelligence. Lindsay Gillespie is senior solutions engineer at Databricks. She says she's not surprised that AI is changing everything. Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of changes coming down the pipeline in the next five years. Uh, I see at the core of all of it being AI, whether or not your team's using it directly or if you're supporting other teams that are using it, no matter how you're procuring it, if you're generating some kind of model yourself or if you're buying some kind of software solution, uh, no matter what, AI is going to have an impact in the cloud security for your organization. Mm -hmm. uh, what that means, an actual tangible use case, that could be uh, detecting and analyzing any kind of cyber threats and responding to them efficiently. It can mean more data protection, trying to monitor data flows. Um, but also, again, if your team's not doing that, there's kind of the behind the scenes work that you need to set up for your organization to succeed with those use cases. Mm -hmm. Some of the, you know, there's the shiny AI use cases, and then there's the behind the scenes uh, data engineering work, the governance work to make sure that you have access to all the data, but you're actually able to govern it and control that access as well. Yeah, there are a couple of themes that uh, agency people keep telling me about AI, the kind of the intersection of AI and mm -hmm. cyber and security, and that is how does one secure their AI tools and then the other is how does one use AI um, in cyber defenses all across the enterprise? What are you are you seeing one of those that maybe that's kind of outshining the other at this point, or are they both kind of moving on on equal tracks? Do you think? In my opinion, they're moving on equal tracks because it's somewhat you need both to be able to do it. You need the excitement, you need the visionaries who want to do it, and you also need the forward planning of okay, how are we going to start right now so that we succeed not only for POC in the next three months, but also five years down the road, we want to actually scale it out and productionize it. Uh, what does that look like? So I think, you know, learning a ton at the beginning, learning is the best way. So having these conversations internally within your organization and also externally, that's the first step is just having that good foundation of what you want to do and then getting a better understanding of uh, what tools are within your organization, the data landscape, having the you know, CISOs working with the CIOs, CDOs, everybody working together to figure out whose role it's going to be in all this um, and getting that landscape because you might not have the data ready yet. Um, so even if you have these great ideas and the use cases ready, you need clean data to be able to support a lot of that mm -hmm. and ideally in the cloud. Uh, but it just it just depends. So I think getting that full picture and having the foundation of what you want to do is the best start to be able to get going. You talked about the importance of learning. Where do you recommend that agency people go to learn about what the potential is, what the art of the possible is? Oh, gosh. My first question back to that is, how do you like to learn? Mm -hmm. There's a variety of different methods. I love podcasts and YouTube, uh, but it really just depends on the learner themselves. Um, that's probably the number one thing is just meeting people where they're at and wherever they want to learn. So if you're in the car driving, you only have 15 minutes a day to be able to listen to a podcast in between the craziness of life, then you know there's different podcasts out there that are well suited uh, for whichever part you want to dig into. For me, I just try to get the daily updates to try to somewhat stay in sync with AIs evol evolving rapidly. Every, every day there's new things coming out. So just trying to get those little tidbits every day of what's going on is a good way, at least for myself. But if you're just starting, really just those intro 100 levels. Um, for me, I'm visual, so YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of courses out there, free online courses. So it just really depends on how you want to learn. Lindsay Gillespie of Databricks.